You know, most of the time on Fact of the Matter, we try to explain the physics behind everyday things. Today's different. You are about to see something that is anything but everyday. It's a very weird phenomenon. It's all physics, but we're not really sure exactly what the physics is. John Swain's trying to figure that out, though. He is a physicist, and here's the demo, and it read to me, John, it looks like two glasses of water with a uh, little electricity happening. Yeah, it's exactly that. It's two glasses of, of fairly pure water, just some distilled water. And um, this is a phenomenon I'm going to show you in a second. It's a phenomenon that was known back in the 1800s, uh, especially in Germany. It sort of got ignored, and then it got picked up again. It was big news in the last year, because it turns out nobody quite knows exactly how to explain what this is. I'm working on it, but instead of talking about you know, how it might work, let's have a look and see what it is. Yeah, okay. okay. So two wires. There's going to be a bit of high voltage on here. And then I'm going to slowly move these two glasses apart. Can I want you to watch very carefully of what you see in the middle there. So between the glasses? Yeah, between. Okay. You'll notice that the water is sloshing back and forth. Yeah, and now, that's because of the yellow. Can you see so What's that going on in the middle there? There's a little bridge. A little bridge of water is formed. Now, I'm going to stretch it in a second. Yeah, okay. But I'm also going to show you just how strong this is by... So, it's, wait, it's water flowing between the two glasses? Yep, that's right. It's actually not flowing, it, it's just being maintained. And if I'm not too ambitious with this. See, I can even. You could pull through. that right through the bridge. Okay, let's yeah. have a look. Let's you can make the bridge longer. Yeah, a little bit longer. <laughs> And here you see no, so a thread of water, a water bridge that's maintained by an electric field from outside. So what's going on? I mean, in simple terms, what, why well, would that happen? Normally, water molecules, they've got little charges on each end, and they arrange themselves around in one or another shape. For example, yep. a nice little spherical drop if they're falling or something like that. In this case, what you do is you put the electric charges in from the outside, a big electric field from the outside that's being provided by these two things, and you override the water's normal tendency to arrange itself into, say, a spherical droplet, and you force it into a new shape. That structure is dynamically maintained by an external electric field. But it's not solid. Like it's us. not solid, because you can see I dragged this thing through. It's not really liquid either. It's something in between. It's, it's a, a sort bridge. of rigidified water maintained by electricity from outside. And nobody really knows how that nobody works. Nobody really knows how that works. I'm, I'm working on trying to throw some numbers in. Michael Faraday, who's one of the founders of the science of uh, electricity and magnetism, he couldn't do math, and he would think in terms of sort of lines of force between things. So if you like, you could think of this as being held by lines of electric force that run through this, that prop it up. Not material, but energetic, if you like. Now, how far apart could you pull the glasses? You can keep pulling apart for uh, a bit farther. Eventually, gravity wins. Yeah. We can keep going. Oh, that's getting fairly thin. Now, either I can pull till it snaps, or I can quite dramatically just turn off the power and you'll see it fall down. Okay. And there you go, it's gone. <laughs> it's only there as long as the power is on. Now, and it would have to be closer together to start it up again? Oh, yeah, you'd have to uh, strike a little spark again and pull them across. But this is also, you know, you're saying it's a very unusual thing. Oddly enough, electric fields this strong appear all over the place, inside fractured rocks, uh, inside uh, living cells. So it may be that as strange as it is to see in a bulk setting, this form of water, this sort of rigidified, not solid but not liquid, something weird, other water, yeah. Yeah, 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 might yeah. actually be all over the place. It might have a, an important biological role. Might be, might be something that's actually very common in a strange hidden way. It's f totally fascinating. Thanks, John. You're very welcome. John Twain is a physicist at Northeastern University in Boston.